Hey guys, no guess Nico here. Didn't expect this. Look at this response from Nissan. The car's operating as it should. Do you remember this part of my video from the last video I just did? Let me play it for you. How long it took me on the highway for this to fail? Now look at Leaf Spy. I'm already up over 500 millivolts and look at these cells. Now look at my power band here. This is the power available for the engine. Those little gray dots are dropping. Look at my range. Look at the battery percentage. This starts dropping like a rock. I'm not even on the highway yet and I already lost half the battery. So I'm accelerating, accelerating. I'm trying to get up to speed. There's semis barreling behind me. And within 30, 31 seconds, I lose, I go down to 6% battery and I get the bit low charge warning. Here it is. Battery charge. I need to find a charger. It's not, not that low. I just got on the highway. So as I start to increase the regen, I'm going to increase my range. Notice the range is going up. The battery, the blue bar in the battery is going up. Now I got to accelerate some more because again, I need to get position and it happened quickly we're talking about a minute and a half pop-up turtle mode i lose heat i can't go more than 25 30 miles an hour this thing failed exactly like i said it was going to be fail now here i am again low battery warning and you'll see on the speedometer there's going to be a little orange light pop up here in, in a second in about 20 seconds that's going to be turtle mode when turtle mode comes up it is protection mode for the battery so it there's no more heat to the vehicle all you can do is drive it for about 25 30 miles an hour so right here turtle mode pops up about a minute 28 and that's it i can only do 25 miles an hour from here on out so here i am with a bad battery they're doing some kind of test to say it's good you can see from the leaf spy data i have bad cells nissan is unable to see that with their test equipment shouldn't they have better diagnostic tools than me how come they can't see those cells dropping to the bottom or did they wait for the temperature to get warmer like it is right now it's probably almost 50 degrees warmer than when it failed so are they just doing this so they can push me to the end of the warranty and just say sorry you're out of warranty i guess we can fix it for you now but you're gonna have to pay <sighs> see what consumer affairs does uh probably gonna end up lawyering up i don't know what else to do this is uh I don't want to sell the car to somebody because I'm going to be selling them knowing that this car has an issue, which is, I mean, it's just not ethical. It's not moral. And uh, I could be selling it to a family that has young children and could be putting their lives at danger. This is, I don't want to do that to somebody. But Nissan has no problem doing that to me. You're going to risk my life. You're going to risk my wife's life. By putting me in a car that fails on the highway within 90 seconds. Shame on you, Nissan. Do you have a conscience at all? I hope this gets to some higher ups in Nissan and they see how the local dealerships are just destroying their image. I own three Nissan Leafs. I love those cars. 